Thank you.
So what's that? So yeah, it's not a uh, car key uh, and I have a key and I have to the mailbox key. Yeah. Do you know what keys can be used before? No. Yeah. Getting in your car. Yeah. To open your heart. Yeah, to open your heart. I said I said. Oh, okay. um, when you hold the key, or your parents give you a key, entrust your key, what's your responsibility? Can anyone tell me? Do not lose it. Do not lose it. Yes, that's true. And I tell you, take care of it. Yeah, that's true, lovely. Because things are very important. Okay, so anyone want to say? Okay, so is anyone want to say? <laughs> Thank you for giving us the small rain yesterday. So it is not so we do not have a very job on them. And thank you for giving us the summer vacation to the office and thank you for giving us the shirts to the office and now. Um, may I ask you to stand up if you are able?
Oh my God. We are the top of the world. 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 The truth of peace and our world. To teach you the time. A reading. I'm a little too poor. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercy of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ, and individually we are members of one another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. May I ask you to stand up if you are able for our graduate hymn. Yet yeah, my shepherd is the living God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Saint Matthew. Lord, Lord, Lord. 
When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philip, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the man, the son of man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or any of the other prophets. But what about you? he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God, Jesus replied. Blessed are you, Simon, Peter of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by man, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he warned his disciples not to tell anyone that he was Christ. The Gospel of Christ. Praise you, Lord. <laughs> Please be seated. Welcome, brothers and sisters in Christ, to this moment of reflection on a significant passage in today's Gospel of Matthew. In today's scripture, we find a turning point in Jesus' ministry, a, revela a revelation of his identity and the mission restored upon his followers. But today, let us talk about the keys. Keys in our pockets, keys in our hands, and keys to the vast kingdom of God. In verses 13 to 14, Jesus, in the region of Caesarea, Philip, asked his disciples a pivotal question. What do people say the son of man is? They replied, pointed to a very identity from John the Baptist to Elijah, Jeremiah, and also other prophets, like a key that can belong to various locks. The people of Jesus' time were uncertain where Jesus stayed. But as we all know, every case has its specific lock. Now let us come to Peter's revelation in verse 15 to 16. Going deeper, Jesus asked, But what do you say I am? And Peter, always the false right one, responds, You are Christ, the Son of the living God. Peter finds the right lock for the key. Recognizing Jesus for his true divine identity, the question today we learned, have we, in our hearts, found the right place for our Jesus key? The foundation of belief, Jesus 
acknowledges Peter's divinely inspired insight and says, on this rock, I will build my church. Here, facing Jesus as Messiah becomes the bedrock, the secure and unchanging foundation of our church. Just as we trust a sturdy key to unlock our doors at home, we can trust this foundation belief to unlock spiritual truths and reality. The keys in our pocket and the kingdom. Jesus tells Peter, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. This statement is not just about power or authority, but about access, responsibility, and stewardship. Think about the keys we have. Car keys give us access to drive. House keys give us access to our home and so forth. Our daily decisions are like keys. The choices we make can either open doors to growth, blessing, or lock us into patterns of stagnation or regret. Just as we carefully choose which key to use for a specific tool, we must be discerning in our decisions, ensuring they align with God's will. The keys to spiritual growth and authority. With the keys to the kingdom, we are reminded that as believers, we have direct access to God's promise, His wisdom, His purpose. But like any key holder, we have responsibilities, responsibility to share. Just as you wish, to share a spare key with a trusted neighbor or friend or family member. We are called to share the gospel. The ultimate key to salvation, responsibility to guard. We guard our physical keys from loss or theft. Similarly, we must guard our hearts and minds ensuring our spiritual keys are not tempted by worldly distraction or temptation. Responsibility to use. We must actively use our keys. Prayers, act of kindness, sharing the gospel, and seeking God's wisdom are ways of using these spiritual keys. Here is a real story about the key. A faithful and wealthy couple. The wife is a doctor. The husband is a high-ranking executive or planning to renovate their house. They interviewed a few contractors. Finally, this couple decided to set on a contractor who claimed to be a Christian even though his quotations are higher than the others. During the renovation, this couple handed the key of their property to this man. Upon the completion, the contractor returned the key. Out of trust, this couple even did not change a new lock. This couple have a habit of putting a few hundreds of cash at home. Both the doctor and the executive had very busy schedules. None of them normally paid much attention to the exact amount at home. Once some of them see there's not so much money left, they will replenish some cash and assume that the other had spent it. After two years, a rare job vacation gave them time to reflect 
and stay together. So they knew exactly what the other band was doing. But still they found their catch was a fewer. So they realized there must be a third person at home who spent the cash. So this couple decided to install a camera at home. To their shock, they found out it was a contractor who stole the money from time to time with a duplicate key during the past two years. As we reflect on today's gospel, let us ponder the keys we hold, both tangible and spiritual, and how we are using them. The keys we carry in our pockets and the keys to the kingdom of God may be different in forms, but they both carry significant weight in our lives. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us conclude today's reflection by a prayer. Lord, grant us the wisdom to recognize and use the keys you have bestowed upon us. May we always turn towards doors, lead us close and may our actions, heart, and choices always reflect your love and purpose. Amen. Amen.
Please stand up if you are able. Let us confess the face of our baptism as we say together. I Prayer to the people to be formed of Litany number four, which is found on page 113 in the Book of Alternative Services. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for all who confess the name of Christ. Fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear We pray for those whose lives are bound in mutual love and for those who live in celibacy. Be their joy and their strength. Lord, for all in danger, for those who are far from home, prisoners, exiles, victims of oppression, grant them your salvation. Lord, for all who are facing trials and difficulties, for those who are sick and those who are dying, show them your kindness and mercy. We pray for one another. May we always be united in service and love. Amen. We pray to be forgiven our sins and set free from all hardships, distress, want, war, and injustice. Amen. We May we discover new and just ways of sharing the goods of the earth, struggling against exploitation, greed, or lack of concern. May we all live by the abundance of your mercies and find joy together. May we be strengthened by our communion with all Christ's things. In our family cycle of prayer today, um, I first want to give a special uh, prayer to David Deswick this morning, um, he lost his grandson, Liam St. John Watson, this past week. So if we can say um, a few extra pairs of prayers for the uh, Deswick family this week, that would be much appreciated. Um, in our parish, we pray for Sylvia Young, the King and June Wu Zhang, Jenny Zhang, Mona Zhao, their families and loved ones. In the Diocese of Niagara, All Saints Wellen, the Reverend Nirmal Mendes, Rector, and the people of that parish. Please stand up if you are able for confession and apostolic. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love. And infinite in mercy, he welcomes sinners and invites them to his table. Let us confess our sins 
confident in God's forgiveness. Most and most for Lord, we confess Almighty God, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Please keep standing if you are able for our offering, please. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior called us. <laughs> Thank 
Please be seated before the announcement. Terrific worship today, Rose. That was excellent. Really yeah. Okay, happy Peak Social Day. The day is finally here. So thank you everyone who brought some treats. We're going to have a music, some musical surprise. It's going to be a great day after uh, for fellowship. So hopeful home show. Please tell everyone. Uh, again, we're happy to take some of the afternoons if you're willing to staff a table for an hour or two during any of those time frames, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Please let me know. The bazaar is here. It's always going to be the last Saturday of November. Um, so if you have some, we're going to have one or two tables for St. Luke. So if you, have, if you have something that you think is Christmas bazaar appropriate, please let us know and we'll uh, put it for sale and money going to donation to the church. And obviously, if you know any vendors that uh, would want a table, all the information is on our website. Okay, special surprise. Janet and Eleanor, I've organized a talent show fundraiser Saturday, October 21st at 7 p.m. 7.30 p.m., we'll fix that. And 7.30 to 9, and then we're going to have some refreshments and treats afterwards. So we're looking for anyone that you, need, you know that wants to share their musical talent. Eleanor is going to be doing her stand-up comedy, which is going to be fantastic. So... Poetry reading, stand up comedy, musical um, instruments, anything. Please contact either Eleanor or Janet, or all the information is on the website as well. So, and we'll be selling uh, tickets. So, you can buy your tickets on the website as well. It's going to be a fantastic, fun fundraiser. Seniors activities. So, we have the opportunity to host senior activities here every couple of months. So, if you know somebody that may want to lead a senior activity, Bingo, cards, line dancing, whatever it might be. Um, please let us know and then we'll get that going and that ball rolling. So we do have the opportunity to connect the community in this way. Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu <laughs> meetings, singing lessons, whatever it might be. Pre-authorized giving. So we talk about this every week. It's just another way to uh, show your appreciation for all of our ministries. All the information again. Is on the website, and this is the way you do it. Automatically comes out of your bank account once. We want to start this committee. It's a very important initiative started by the Diocese of Niagara. So, if you or anybody in interested, really connected with climate, climate change, climate change strategies, then we're starting a committee. It's called Roadmap to a Low Carbon Church. It's something we have to do. It's a non-negotiable. Every uh, church in the in the Diocese of Niagara have to produce its five-year plan. So if you or somebody that you know is passionate about this, knowledgeable about climate change uh, strategies, please let us know. Send an email to the office without one of the words. Now, once we have probably four or five people on the committee, we'll get the ball rolling. And any birthdays this past week, special celebrations, anniversaries. <laughs> Eleanor, awesome. Anyone else? Good parents, please. Bert, and so I just want to thank the three ladies who helped me yesterday at Chocolate Kitchen, Kathy Lenz, Kathy Parker, and Wendy. And also, I'd love to thank everybody who has contributed to us. We've yet to pay them. We've got a lot of money. Oh, and yeah, my friend Doreen, she helped with Chocolate Kitchen too. <laughs> Please stand up if you are able. Father, we say to know him.
So my my honest then here is the guys guys to Chinese lady, very fat Chinese lady, and the very fat Chinese plucking string instrument. That's a big surprise. See, welcome, Miss Tan and Miss Man. So before we start this, I'll ask you guys two questions. You guys, anybody know what bringing this? What is it called? A drum. A <laughs> This drum is very special. Okay, I'll do this later. Is, is that anybody knows the instrument that uh, that lady brings? This lady. So any anyone have an idea what the instrument is for? Okay, it's a large. Okay, thank you. Oh, good. Okay. Oh. Okay. So actually, in China, we call it team pop. Yeah. Because today is big day, so I want I want to give you guys fun. So big. And it has a beautiful and a very strong music expression. Also, um, we will have, have a lot of variety and um, technical. Right now, um, I ask, I will do this later. After this, I'm um, playing the melody. From very south east of China. That when did you tell me? Oh, <laughs> a cobra <full> arrived. <laughs> Actually, this piece of music is uh, dedicated to people sitting in the very quiet, a peaceful river, like a little in the cottage. Yeah. The moonlight and the very only bird on the river, the people enjoying the moment. Okay, so, and there is a movie. Anybody watch it? It's called the uh, uh, House of Flying Dragon. Anybody watch that movie? Very famous. Okay. Right now, that that piece also has another name. It's called Ambush from Ten Side. So we all know we have a north side, south side, west side, and the east side. So we can the ten side part. Okay, I don't know. She was not. She and the same was not. Where is Ken Side from? And he was with her music. Okay. Where is Ken Side from? Ken
But this piece of music, we just uh, introduce the uh, the period of the uh, the cold the wetness. I don't know in English, but the era of the cold the wetness theory, yeah. right? Yeah. So all the um, soldiers, the rival force, the other force, Friday and the fear of everything. So that the that the music is bad, okay? So and uh, you guys want to know who is it? <laughs> Actually, her name is called Lan Ye. The amazing Econ player. She spent her 40 years to play a rich instrument. Every day she played with five or six. From the conservative of music of the Sanji University. Her major is actually, her major is Econ. And number four, she goes to that. She's a member of a organization at the National Music Art Committee of the Chinese National Orchestra so that you know my English is Spanish. But uh, I hope you guys understand. The people are teacher of Toronto Chinese Artist Center, the people player of the Chinese National of Orchestra in Toronto, Canada. The founder of Nanjing Shu Tipa Education and the founder of Nanjing Shu Tipa Chamber Music. In this show, we are coming from August 15th. Not she will have a show about. So for me, I think support and appreciation is just very good. So I want to make it with Lana. So if you can find interesting for the first show and you want to introduce the Chinese instrument to your kids or friends, mm -hmm. welcome to that lady and then buy the paper for her. It's only $48 actually. And she has a program to give this time to our church. Anybody who can purchase today will give this time for, for the purchase. Okay? Very welcome to support all the music. We know when is the concert? It's October 15th. Uh, I'm seven o'clock. The show is in the barn. So everybody is arrived. I can give you a ride. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, the show actually is in a play hall. Yeah. Ball C player house. Okay, and it's there. Okay. So the details, you can talk to that lady. Her English is much better than me. Very appreciative. You can listen to me. Uh, introduce the
just too late. Of course, then the lady who went to use her because every knows her. She works at the single factory and the new drag that go out to the community. It's also last time it's over year, but it's then. Then, yeah. Very good. Hopefully, you know the piece you play and hopefully, you enjoy, enjoy my uh, English. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yeah, it's too much fun. 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 Very so if you have and at the end of the day, I think that's what we say then. We'll have to see And then we will try to find friends, and we'll all, you know, go to the next question. But thank you so much for inviting us here. And we love to see you at the event. This will be the greatest concert of the year. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go to the 